All right, guys, today we are going to go ahead and build a Wither Killer. As you can see, just there it worked. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the recording. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, please enjoy the video. Talk to you later. All right, let's go ahead and make our Wither Builder. All right, so we're going to be getting the Nether Star production stuff down. As you can see, we got 3,000 Wither Skulls from our farm we're getting them from these uh shards are these skull fragments that the farm keeps dropping uh when you craft nine of them up you get wither skulls so if you do that a few times boom look at that shabam we're gonna need to automate that as well so we'll probably just uh do something with this thing because this is what i set up off camera just a tier one crafter that uh uses sand and weather dust to make soul sand and as you can see we got a bunch of soul sand so that's how we're going to be automating the production of the wither killer and we're gonna actually be putting it right here you might be saying like hey wouldn't that get pretty loud it's like maybe it might get loud if we weren't prepared for it we weren't prepared for it to be loud but we are prepared for it to be loud we have made we have made decisions Okay, so I'm going to give him two blocks of space, so that way he doesn't blow up everything. And do we have any more witherproof blocks? I've got a few. Hello, Discord. Thanks for messaging me. Awesome. I forgot to turn that off. Oh, look at that. Wither skeleton trophies. Perfect. So let's see. We're going to go back one more. That portal is being very noisy. Yeah, we'll call it good. Okay. So we're going to need to punch this block out. And... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lay in all of these witherproof blocks. Alright, so I've made this witherproof glass to help us along with our production stuffs. Because uh, I would love to see in here at all times. It would be pretty cool. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to give him kind of room to breathe. That way he doesn't lag out and, uh, you know, teleport out of here. And it's really scary. Because <laughs> if he gets out, uh, boy, <laughs> it'll be bad. Bad news bears. Um, so here, and then we're going to put him right. The builder will be here. So I'm, I'm going to move that open so that way we can see it. And then the glass will go here like so. It's cool because when you use Optifine with this mod, uh, you don't ever get to see inside of here because I guess there's a conflict with Optifine or something like that. Um, but if we do it like this, we should be able to see in there just fine. Okay, so the Wither Builder um, needs to be... We're going to place a piece of fertilized dirt here and like this. Okay. Guess okay, so we're gonna break these two. We're going to replace this with our witherproof block. Perfect. Okay, and if we come down here, we should see if we show the working area. Okay, so it's turned the incorrect way. Let's go ahead and place it like this then. <laughs> Wrong one. Okay, and then show working area. Still that way. What the heck? Maybe if we place it like... Why? Mouse, I went over twice, the stupid thing. Huh, I don't think we're able to move the orientation, which is okay. It's okay. I think it's, like, directional. Um, that was kind of a waste of time if you think about it. But we're going to put this here like so. This will be the, um, the soul sand. That's the word. And then we're also going to make two more ender chests. We need an exporter with you. And then... Ender chesticles. There you are. Okay, we're going to grab two luppies. 
And we're going to mark these on the far left because the other ones are marked on the far right. Okay, got them. All right, so then the exporter we'll go ahead and put back there, but we're going to need some speed upgrades, which means we're going to need to make some sugar from our sugar cane. Okay. Speed up. Oh, jeez. That was not as many as I wanted to make, but I'm not all that uh, worried about it. Okay, so we're going to go just right here. And as you can see, that one's on the far right, and this one's on the far left. So they won't conflict at all. And then we'll put the speed upgrades in here. And we'll grab a wither skull. Bam, filling up. Bam a lamb. Black Betty, bam a lamb. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so then we're going to need another power cell. Like so. Booyah. Then we'll grab one of these. All right. Let's come on back here. We're going to need to make some item conduits as well. We only need four. We're going to link this up here. I'm just going to place this down. Grab this. Bam. Now those are linked up. All right. And then we do need the item conduits. We have that conduit, like so. What do we need? Pulsating iron nugget. Okay. Here we go. Let's grab some speed upgrades. And yeah, that'll work. Okay, so here like so, item conduits going in, extracting, extracting, inserting. We're going to need to turn these on. Yep, so that's filled up. Could you imagine a range upgrade on this? See how scary that would be? Um, and then the power cell will go back here like so, but we don't have a killer yet, so we're not going to do anything. Um, we're actually... I think we need to hide... I want to hide it back here. Yeah, we'll put we'll put the uh, the killer thing right there. Let's go grab the killer thing. Okay, you guys are wondering what all the uh, the notifications are on my phone. I just actually Monday's video just got uploaded. I'm recording this on Monday, and uh, I'm getting some comments on it. So if you do hear that, I am sorry, but my fans love me. And I love them. Okay, so now we're going to need actually one more ender chest. And boom. Shakalaka. Okay. This is our importer. Okay, so... You have to place this. So we're going to need to go like this. This needs to go here like so. Okay. So now we can literally seal this up. Because we can get power to it. And other things. That nether portal is flipping loud. Why did I go into skin? <laughs> uh, I wish it was just portal. That blocks? Yeah, it blocks. Okay. So this just needs power. We have power here, but I don't want to connect it yet. Um, we're also going to put a timer on this. Active on redstone signal. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. You there, you there. You should be getting power. Oh, we need to set this to out on all sides. Boof! Power, okay. And so you need power, you need cables, you need to extract out the bottom. Perfect. Okay, and then you go like that, and then you go like this, and then you go like that, and like this. And nothing here. And then we're flat out just going to have that there. Um, so these will extract on brown and insert on brown. So these are two different circuits. And then this will insert on green and extract on green from up there. Does that make sense? I hope it did because that was fun. 
Okay, so now we need to go grab a timer real quick. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so this isn't just a, a normal timer. This is a variable timer, and it's very important that we have a variable timer because what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to let this thing run automatically. And if we don't have a certain timer on it, the, the thing will just start producing like 50 withers in there at once, and it's going to be chaotic. Um, or psychotic, like psychotic butcher. Oh, oh, okay. And they are spawning in. Let's go 2,000 for now. Did you spawn one in yet? You did not. Why did you not? Oh, that's right. We need to. Um, yeah, let's go back to 20. So it only lets it build like that every once in a while. So I think, because if we just had it on, yeah. Okay, so what gets destroyed when he blows up? Oh, he needs a range upgrade. Oh boy. Oh, there's two now. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Oh boy, that was intense. Okay, so what this will allow it to do is it'll just... Oh boy, okay, so those get destroyed. Did any of the blocks get destroyed up here? They did not. That's all I care about. Whew. Zooey Mama. All right. I'm going to spawn in. Yep, there he is. Let's go ahead and make this 10. So we'll double the speed of them coming out of there. Okay, maybe we need not that fast, not that fast, not that fast, not that fast, not that fast. There's a sweet spot for this. Ouch. Yeah, that should be pretty good. And so you're wondering, like, that is going to be hecking annoying, isn't it? And you're going to be like, I'm going to be like, yeah, buddy, that's really annoying. But they do have these wither things that really help with sound. You go like this, and you go, hey, boss snuffler, shut up. Boss Snuffler. What is the Boss Snuffler? What did, what did I just say? Boss Snuffler. That's a new word. Okay, so if we just place this here like so. And one should spawn in. We shouldn't even see it. Yep, look. You don't even see the boss bar. You can't even hear it. It should just exp... Hey, what are you doing? I guess it's under mob sounds. There should be an explosion. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with that. But now we're getting nether stars, peoples. Do you know what that means? Awesomeness. Let's look at this. How many nether stars we got? We have a total of seven so far. That is amazing. This is amazing. And then we can get nether star seeds and then probably shut the farm off. Because <laughs> it's it's not gonna be very fun. But what this means, what we can do is we can go ahead and make the more of those unbreakable hoes. Um, where are they at? They're here. This uh, supremium hoe. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Because <laughs> we're gonna need these. And so if we go like that, look at this. Look at this. We got two of them made up. Uh, we can make some supremium. Actually, we might have everything already. Let's make some more of these. Have a wee gander. Yep. And now we've got two more unbreakable hosts. So let's go put those in our two mob farms. And that was the whole reason we did this in the first place. So look, you no longer have a breakable hoe. So now this will never stop running. These can go away and we can put a growth accelerator here. And it also allows us to make better growth accelerators because we have nether star production. I mean, this is just, it's phenomenal. This is great. I might, I, I might, I think I should have built it a little bit further away, but that's okay. That's okay. And I put a diamond hoe back in there, didn't I? I did. I'm an idiot. There we go. So now those will never 
break. And if you ever do hear random explosions in the video, you know it's from there. Bam. All right, let me see what time we have left in the video, and we might do something else that's fun. All right, so we're up to 34 nether stars. Let's go ahead and make a nether star block here and grab our nether star seeds that I did make off camera. And let's come on over here. And so in order to make this thing grow, you need to have a block, uh, a nether star block underneath it. And in here, oh, we got to hoe it. And this should start to grow, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go see if we can grab some fertilizer. Fertilizer. Let's see here. Yeah, we do have the mystical fertilizer. Fertilizer! That's what we're calling it. Okay. So we do have the... Oh, we need another star crux. Okay, so that's actually we can make that. We can make that. We can make it. Give it back. I was thinking of awakened draconium for some reason, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, no. Okay, so let's see here. Uses another star crux. How many cruxes are there? Dragon egg. Okay, so there's not a whole lot. Uh, withering soul. We do have a withering soul. Perfect. And then we need a block of insanium. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Um, I should have this on crafted. Let's see. Can we make one of these? We can. All right, we're going to be here for a bit. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, how much? Huh, 101,000. That's gonna take, oh no. We were at 151,000. Jeez Louise, we're over that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna let this craft up and I'll be back later, guys. All right, guys, so I've done a bit of AFKing off camera. We've actually got uh, four nether star seeds growing up here. Uh, as you can see, they are growing, so the cruxes are underneath them. And I've also got uh, steel seeds here and wither skeleton seeds. So that is how we are getting our wither skulls. Easy. It's like they're working in tandem with the mob farm and the uh, farming station thing area. As you can see, I did quite a bit AFK. We're back up to 173,000 uh, infirmium. And we are up to 2.2 thousand nether stars. Um, so I am... I'm ecstatic, because now that means we can get into Draconic Evolution and uh, do all of the fun things. And check out all this Endurium we got. It's pretty cool. So let's go back here. I'll show you guys uh, that I do have something set up here. Um, as you can see, when the Wither Skeleton Skull uh, or the Wither Skull Fragments come in, they are crafted up into a Wither Skull. So that's how that's being made. Just saw it there. And then we'll actually put the Nether Star stuff here. So the Nether... Star Essence right here. We'll go ahead and put at the bottom here. And so, unfortunately, this one is a bit tricky. Uh, so, down at the bottom, apply. So, whenever they get in there, and we'll put that there. And then, boom, as you can see, it works great. So, that'll be auto crafting up some of the Nether Star stuff. I don't know if we have another auto crafter or somewhere. We do, but it's for the soul sand. Darn it. And then the wither skulls. Okay. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please do make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button. As you know, like I just said, oh well, I'm going to see you later. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>